Fart people. Let me restart that. No, not black people. Bark people. As in people who use bark. You hear that? That's the sound of a dog. More like the sound of a canine. Hi, I'm Senpai Pirate. I am here to maybe just vent on something that recently happened. So, I don't, I'm pretty sure you guys aren't too familiar on the app Bark. Not B-A-R-K, but spelled B-A-R-Q. Bark is basically a dating app for furries in your area. I, I, I created an account like years ago, but anyways, I use the app Actually, scratch that. Let's restart. I went back into using the app Bark, literally like probably like a couple weeks ago, just cause like, I was like, fuck it. Why not? Bored. I don't really use dating apps like that. I try to stay away from dating apps because dating, app, dating apps nowadays are just like, meh, just meh. They're not my thing. Go on my phone, just scrolling heavy on it, you know, just looking at different furries in my area, like the couple, swipe the couple, whatever. The typical dating app bullshit. I come across this one person. We're not gonna state names. I'm gonna keep this as anonymous as possible. And if they end up seeing this video one day, to hell with it, I'm sorry. It had to be brought up. I'm just not gonna go public with this and state your name. You know who you are. Come across this one person. Nice person. Nice guy. Cute person. Cute guy. And they are, you know, you know, they're a furry, just like me. And, you know, I'm scrolling through, scrolling through, and then I look at their profile and I'm like, hmm, okay, this person's pretty cute. I like them. They like me. We didn't end up chatting on uh, Bark. I sent a message. They sent a message back, but I was like, hell asleep or whatnot i sent them a message via discord because they had their discord link to their profile and we end up chatting we chat for like most of the night we're being dumbasses we're vibing with each other you know this that and the third i you know i i, I get this little feeling i'm like i can really fuck with this person i really fuck with this person this per person fucks with me they like their dumb my dumbassery i like their dumbassery because they are just like me they send memes i send memes we be stupid with each anyway. other so anyways fast forward we're talking to each other for days more like a week and a half and you know stuff is starting to like pick up a little bit and i'm starting to really fuck with this person i and i tell him that i'm like yo i'm starting to fuck with you i really fuck with your vibe you know this that and the third you know we should really meet up one day and they live in my area, not my area, but they live in my state. I end up telling that person, I'm like, yo, I fuck with you. I want to like talk to you more. I want to get to know you, you know, to get to know me, this, that, and the third. So he agrees. How I say like, I, I fuck with you, you know, this, that, and the third. I don't mean it as in like, I want to fuck with you. I want to fuck you. I want to do this to you like i, I want to get to know you i want to like slow down the pace and me and him we both had a mutual agreement and we both said you know let's keep things cordial between us so anyways so you know the typical furries furries they're supposed to you know be like this this type of person who gets all cutesy wootsy you know says ooh Ew. awa awa you know this that and the third the typical furry bullshit so typically when you like a furry a furry likes you they start sending cute stuff to you they start sending cute little pictures they start being a little ooh ooh blah blah, blah this that and the third now i'm gonna tell you this right now youtube twitch whatever you can be as blunt with me as possible you can be as honest as hell to me you can tell me what's right what's wrong what am i doing wrong what are they doing wrong whatever come at me in the comment section and tell me if i'm wrong now you can tell me anything you can say senpai well you did do this or senpai well you kind of did that 
be as blunt with me as possible when I upload this, okay? Because I'm going to be as blunt as possible with you guys. And I want you guys to tell me if I'm wrong. And if I'm in the wrong, cool. I'll own up to it. I'll be the bigger person. I'll be like, okay, thanks. I'll, I'll own up to that, that mistake and take full responsibility for it, for my own actions. And then I'll move on. This person, I call them certain names that they like. And they... And I, and I call them cute. And you know, when a furry gets called cute, they say, Ooh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not cute. No, you're cute. Blah, 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 blah. When I tell you this, I literally call them cute and stuff. And they sent me a picture of how they look. I posted a picture of how I look on Bark. And. I tell them everything. I say, you, you're you so adorable, blah, 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 this, that, and the third. And when some furries, when they get all flustered, they like, they, they start doing stuff like, you're cute, no you, no you. Let me tell you some shit. This say furry did that. Did that every time I call them cute. That's typical furry reactions. That's typical furry actions. They they type some they type little uh, sentences like you know you know you know you. They're all for it. They say, oh yeah, we we should definitely we should definitely meet up. We should definitely meet up. You know this that and the third. And I'm like, yo, tell me when you want to meet up, and you know I'll take the drive and we we'll, we can meet up somewhere. He agrees. He says, motherfucker. God damn it. He agrees, and I say, yeah, let's catch a, grab a bite, or maybe a movie, or walk a park, or some shit, you know, just little stuff, like nothing too expensive, just something we can just do together. He agrees. In typical fashion, I will say this, I told this person that we're not going to disclose, I told this person in advance, I said, hey, listen, whenever I like somebody, or I really fuck with them, I let them know in advance, I say, hey, listen, if I'm doing too much, or if I'm coming off a little too clingy, or coming off a little too, like, a little passive and stuff like that, let me know in advance, and then I'll back off a little bit, and then I'll restart myself. Let me tell you some shit. He says, oh, no, it's okay. Um, you can show me as much appreciation as you want to, if you want to. In my head, I took it as in, like, I don't want to, like, fuck it up. But, like, I was like, you know what? Okay, cool. You're reciprocating the same energy I'm reciprocating. Let's see how this plays out. And I tell, I, I tell him, or I ask him, I say, hey, is it okay if you want to, you know, talk on the phone at some point? And he's like, yeah, sure, yeah. And I said, probably maybe after you get off work or on your way home or whatnot he's like yeah 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 sure we'll do that so i wait for him he called me but i was i was slunk i was asleep it, mind you this is like 3 a.m so i'm i'm passed out i wake up i see his he see him call me and i was like fuck i missed his call and i let him know like hey sorry i missed your call i was slunk whatever so fast forward another time we call and I answer the phone, and he, he lets me know in advance. He says, hey, the connection's kind of bad here. I said, okay, cool, that's fine. So he calls me. I answer. I say my typical, hello. And then he hangs up. Like he said, the connection was bad, so I don't blame him. So he hangs up the phone. And then he says, uh, the connect, the connection's really shitty here, uh, let's, uh, wait till I get home. I said, okay, cool, no, no problem, no problem at all. So, I wait till he gets home, I pass him. Mind you, like I said, this is around, like, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, I'm tired as fuck. So I pass out, and I missed this call again. So I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, we're gonna have to schedule something else. So, anyways... I'm telling you this right now, guys, I can't make this shit up. I cannot make this shit up for the life of me. Whenever a furry likes another furry, and you show them attention, why the hell, why the hell is it so 
weird when furries get that same amount of attention that you give them, they <clears throat> go away. Straight like that. They go away. I'm like, well, fuck me, man, okay? <laughs> Jesus. So anyways, fast forward. I was going through a little depression hole on my Discord. So I changed my Discord name or my Discord uh, status to numb to all the pain. People saw it. People started checking on me like, Senpai, are you okay? Senpai, are you good? What's going on? This out there. I'm like, I'm good. Just not really feeling it right now. So that person hits me up. He says, hey, I noticed your, uh, your Discord name. It's a little, little weird. Are you okay? And I told him, I'm like, yeah, I'm good. This is just a normal thing for me. You know, I tend to block people out. Yada, yada, yada. This, that, and the third. Whatever. And so he says, well, obviously I'm not going to remember it word for word. So I'm just going to summarize the whole thing of what he kind of said. So he says, well, if you, you know, cut people off or if you kind of block people out, you know, you can't really do that because, you know, you have people that care about you and, you know, whatever, this, that, and the third. So I'm like, yeah, I get that, but that that's just me, you know. I, I block people out or I cut people off or I ignore them because I just, I'm not feeling it. After I said that, I kid you the fuck not, n did not hear from him. He went completely dark, completely silent. I'm not sure if it's what I said that triggered him or whatever. But for some oddly reason, after I said what I said, I stopped hearing from him. So, I a day goes by, two days go by, and I'm like, oh shit, I haven't heard from this person in a little bit. Let me text him. I text him, hey, hope you're okay, haven't heard from you in so long. Because usually when I hear from him, it's around like 12 a.m., 1 a.m., or like maybe like 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Didn't hear from him for one day, another day goes by. Another day goes by, and I'm like, fuck, I didn't, I have not heard from this person in a while. I really hope nothing happened to them, because that's, I care about them. I'm not creepy, I'm not no psychopath or anything, I'm not a person who just latches <laughs> onto somebody and be like, I want you forever. No! Whenever I show you attention, that's because I care about you. And I don't want to lose you. I'm not trying to be some psychopathic person or whatnot. The fourth and fifth day goes by. And did not hear from them. And I'm like, what the fuck happened? So I hit up one of my friends, Crypto. And I ask him a favor. I tell him, I'm like, hey, can you do me a favor and hit up this person just to see if they're okay. I go on Discord, I click the profile, and you will not imagine what happened. I'm gonna give you a little minute to help help you answer my question. Guess what happened when I clicked on their profile? If you answered add friend, or they blocked you, or they unadded you, you're correct. I literally saw gray, add friend box i'm like what the actual fuck is going on did i say something that triggered him did i say something that maybe stirred him the wrong way no no and let me tell you why so bringing it back to the present i hit up my friend crypto and i said hey can you hit up this person and ask them for me are they okay or why did you block me because I or why did you unadd me because I'm worried about you they added him he instantly adds crypto crazy as fuck you don't even know the person but you just instantly add him that that's that's crazy but anyways so he adds him instantly adds back and then next thing you know crypto adds while I'm on the phone with Crypto, I said, hey, tell him this, tell him that. Crypto says it, and then he, in his own words, was like, who's asking? And immediately said, wait, is it Senpai Pirate?
you know it was me. Could be anybody else. And you just happened to say it was me. Anyways, that's when Crypto says, yes, he's worried about you or she's worried about you and wondering why'd you unadd her because you've ghosted him or her for this amount of days. So, I, ca I cannot make this up. So, in his own words, he says, well, it's because I've only known the guy for a couple weeks and he's coming on to me way too fast. Like, it's almost creepy. He wants to meet up and stuff. I don't even know what he looks or sounds like. And the fact he went through to you to come message me just solidifies that even more. Chad, let me tell you something. I've showed three or four people these messages from the beginning to the end. Between the both of us. I wish I can display the messages, but I'm not going to. That's our business. So, when he says, I'm coming on to him way too fast, I'm not doing shit. I'm just reciprocating the same energy you're reciprocating to me. I've showed this to other people. Well, I showed this to four other people. My close friends just to see if I'm crazy or not. They told me the exact same thing. They said, well, I can see where his point of view is, but I can also see where your point of view is. You gave off the same energy he gave off. He gave off the same energy you gave off. And y'all both were just doing this exact same thing as each other, which was flirtation, or sorry, which was flirting, which was name calling, which was literally being cute to one another. Am I in the wrong? Be honest, let me know in the comment section, and I will read it, and I'll be like, okay, I'll move on from this, and then I'll learn from my mistakes. Fast fucking forward. After the whole debacle of me te texting Crypto and telling him to let him know or whatnot, he ends up getting blocked by that same person. And I'm like, what did Crypto do to get blocked? All he did was be a messenger for me. But anyone who's a friend of mine is going to get blocked instantly because they know me. And they think I'm a creep. Just because I care about them, and just because I want to talk to them, and just because I want to meet up with them. I want to meet up with you because you live in my area. Two, I want to see you because I want to see what type of vibe you're on. Obviously, when I meet you, I'm not going to give off predator vibes or anything. I'm 20 fucking four, and you're 22. Anyways, whatever. So, fast fucking forward. YouTube chat, I kid you the fuck not. I cannot make this up. I go back on Bark and I says, Hey, that person, why did you unadd me? Did I do something wrong? This is before I knew about the whole thing, what he told Crypto. And he texts me literally a days later, a week later, and says, Cause you're a creep, that's why. No one confesses their undying love for someone after a week unless you're just desperate. And I'm not looking for that kind of relationship. You don't even know anything about me. I could be a silly... <coughs> silly. God damn it. I could be a serial... <coughs> I hate it here. I could be a serial killer for all you know. And then after that, after that chat, he blocked me on Bark. So... I'm like, this guy is delusional. Because one, one, I'm not a fucking creep. If anyone knows me, every, everyone knows that I'm a kind-hearted person, that I care about people, and that I'm not going to sit here and deal with people's bullshit. So, the fact that he did some middle school, high school elementary whatever shit and just blocked me off rip without talking to me like a grown man is crazy 
He didn't have, he literally did not do any of that. He just quickly, blah, blah. Um, yeah, I'm just going to move on with my life now without sitting here and talking things out. See, if, this is why I don't use dating apps like that. This is why I don't use dating apps like that. Because you got people like him who has so much of an ego, they sit there and they just think, oh, I can't take this much pressure. I'm going to leave. And they leave without saying a single thing. They just block you. So I've come to the conclusion. I'm like, all right, I'm not going to hear back from him anytime soon. And if I do, it's going to be a needle in a haystack. So ch chat, YouTube, Twitch, TikTok, wherever I post this on, let me know if I'm in the wrong or not. Let me know if I did something wrong. Let, like I said, I wish I can disclose the messages, but I can't. I it's, I can't. It's it's for it's only our business, and only four of my friends know about this. the The whole conversation, and they agree with me and him fifty fifty. But they're like, okay, y'all both gave off the same energy. So what what's the issue? So in conclusion, guys, don't use Bark. Bark is just full of weird fucking furries. That's all I gotta do for now. Thank you for joining me, joining me on story time with Senpai. Bye bye. <laughs>